It's about to be a big weekend in Charlotte as well. The city's first major league soccer team is making its debut. It will be an away game, but still lots of reason to get hyped up. And I want to get back over to our guest, Sean McIntosh. I think he would agree that it's there's lots of reason to be excited. He is the fan coordinator for Charlotte FC. Sean, can you hear me? Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Yeah, thank you for having me. We're, we're certainly thrilled and excited two days away from our season kicking off in D.C. So I'm curious, what does your role as chief fan officer look like? What does that entail? Yeah, so I, I work really closely with all segments of our fan bases to make sure that um, I'm here as a resource to them, to make sure that as a club, um, our fans are connected um, here internally. I work with every department to make sure that our fans have a voice uh, whether that's with our marketing, our ticket sales, our operations, and then work really closely with our supporters on building out what that match day experience is going to look like come March 5th. So how are fans preparing for the club's first ever MLS match this weekend? What has that looked like in the past few weeks and months since you first made this announcement? Yeah, look, they, they've been working really, really hard um, to create an experience on March 5th. But before that, again, first match on the road, uh, we've got an incredible contingency, 300 plus fans that will be making the trip up to DC to support the boys in blue. Um, and then for those that are hanging back and not able to make the trip, uh, we're really excited because we announced our network of affiliates that will be airing um, all Charlotte FC matches, super accessible across the Carolinas, and our fans, our supporters are going to be hosting watch parties across the Carolinas to support us on the road. Well, we are excited because we are going to be able to host that uh, this weekend. We will be airing the first game for you guys. I know it will be away, but I'm sure you are getting excited as well. And really cool that you're offering this opportunity to those fans to go travel with the team. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're pumped. Uh, obviously, uh, this first one being on the road, um, fans are excited to make that trip. And, uh, and look, we're excited to obviously come back one week later to be hosting uh, a big match at Bank of America Stadium, where we hope to set an attendance record. Uh, so it should be a pretty historic night. Well, that was going to be my next question. What are you expecting the environment to be like on March 5th, the home opener at Bank of America Stadium? Yeah, we, we expect it to be lively. We expect um, our fans to show up in, in full force. And I mentioned it, we expect to break an attendance record, 74,000 plus filling up Bank of America Stadium. Uh, I, I think fans um, should be excited about the work that our supporters have put in to create some really tremendous choreography. Um, so you're gonna see some stuff that stands out uh, from anything else that, that most folks have seen here in the, in the Carolina sports scene. I think the Carolinas will be excited to have another professional sports team to be rooting for. Sean, thank you so much. Again, fans, you can watch across the triad uh, the first game this Saturday right here on the Triad CW that starts at 5.30 p.m. And you can follow along with Charlotte's Football Club. Get your tickets at charlottefootballclub.com. We'll be back after this.